Greetings, and welcome to Curious Moran Land, where science literacy will make America great. Now, I've been saying that for years, and I feel fortunate to be part of the science community as a science educator. I did some did some research in, in college, and um, teaching is the pathway I've I've uh, followed for the last 23 years. And I've been I've taught students from basic biology, where just trying to encourage them to read was the was the goal, to AP biology, to having students going off to Hopkins, to people. Students who have gone into the professions and have a much greater education than I do now, and uh, I wouldn't change a thing. So, a couple years ago, um, I started videoing, or had a colleague videotape me doing a little exercise, and now it's grown into about a 200 videos. And what I want to do is just do an about video about my the different videos and the style and how I do it. So, pretty much, I have three types of videos. I do live video, like this example. So I muted the videos. I'm just kind of playing some line and I'll just skip over here. Here's what I'm doing. So I'm going over directions for a lab that we're about to do, I think, on organic compounds. And so that's one of the types where I just have the kid with a camcorder or videotaping. The other type is the screencast. Now in this, I'm pretty much showing like a PowerPoint or um, this is a smart te technology called Mimeo where I basically will narrate and talk about notes. And these are the same notes that correspond to what I use in my classroom. It really, it's not a substitute for missing class. It's an accessory. And I have, I have a lot of students, so this is kind of like I'll, I'm talking and narrating. The third style is kind of the combination. And last year, I started really adding in a whole bunch of things. So here's some models from my anatomy class, and I'm talking about it. Uh, I have a tendency to put in, uh, have an intro, and then I We'll go through, and in this case, what I like is I can use, I go back and forth between talking, showing a model that my students need to understand, and then show, referring back to diagrams that help with the learning there. And I've uh, been pretty, pretty fortunate with that. And for example, I started, uh, and this one is a different one where I start and I add in my little mantra there. And this one, I actually go back and forth from notes to the models. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you're one of my students, what I want you to be able to do is know how do I use this? What's the, you know, there's a lot of videos. So what I did is I created playlist. For example, let's click the playlist. For example, if you're my one of my students, you most likely are going to look at if you're a biology student, you're going to look at these different playlists. And I'll talk about how you can access them later. And then over here, if you're anatomy, I did more screencasts and models and dissections. So if you go to Blackboard, and again, this is just relates to my current students, um, course materials, and then you're going to hit, uh, I put the playlist that corresponds with it. But also, for example, down here, here's a organic compound notes. Each one of these is videos that goes with that. Here's um, Here's directions for a foldable, so I put those. So the vet, they could be podcasts, they could be live discussions, and that's pretty much uh, a lot of the things that you're going to see in Curious Marineland. So I'm very grateful for uh, having a school system that gives me the technology to make these videos and become part of the science community and part of the science dialogue, and also to contribute to science literacy, which has always been, which has always been the goal. So. And one of the things that I do is I kind of I actually was asked to make do a course for other teachers, and in that video we basically talked about how we could use these videos and sync them up with Blackboard, and um, you know videos inside the classroom, not outside of the classroom. Again, brought to you by Curious Marineland, and that's pretty much it. That's my about video. So uh, feel free to leave comments. Um, or watch the videos. Uh, I don't care about sus subscriptions. I just want to be part of the science community and part of the science dialogue and help increase science literacy.